Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here with 60 and Me. 60 and Me is a community of women who are aging beautifully, who want to feel and look the best they can in their 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, I do product tutorials and reviews of new products that I think might be of interest to our community. And I have discovered in my opinion, an eyeshadow palette that is just spectacular. It's perfect for me. I love it. I've got it on my eyes today. A little intense look, maybe a bit of shimmer. It's just a gorgeous palette. It's called LA Girl Pro Mastery Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to show you how I achieve this look and go through all the different um, options in this palette. I'm also going to do a swatch um, of the different colors because there are 16 in this palette. I used five and so you can get lots and lots of other looks. But I hope you enjoy this um, next video, which is going to show you how I achieved this look. And I'd love your feedback on eyeshadow palettes that you love, things that you've discovered that you might like me to share with the community. And I just want to thank you so much for being here, for subscribing to our channel here and uh, joining us on this on this journey this beautiful journey of aging in your 60s and still loving makeup skincare and beauty take good care everybody here's how i did it Hi everyone. Well, there certainly are an abundance of beautiful eyeshadow palettes around these days. Um, there are so many, it's almost overwhelming. And I've tried the drugstore products, I've tried the higher end eyeshadow palettes, and I found one that is just so amazing, in my opinion, and it's perfect for me. I used it, I've used it so much recently, and it's got a really wide variety of options, of ways you can use it. And I'm gonna do something today that is kind of, in my opinion, perfect for autumn, for, for fall, and, uh, and just share this beautiful eyeshadow palette with you. I'll give you a sneak peek of it. It's actually by LA Girl. It's affordable, about $13, and it's called the LA Girl um, Pro Mastery Eyeshadow Palette. And I'll show you the colors in a second, but it's just beautiful. Um, I'm going to apply some makeup just to show you how I achieved the look that I showed you earlier and um, just you know try to move things quickly so I can get to those eyes because that's really where I want to um, to show you. So I, I put on some um, primer. It's actually uh, what's called a glowing or a glow primer. It's, this one's by Essence. And I picked this one up, it was like four or five dollars, and I bought this one because there is a big trend at the moment about glow boosting primers. And I wanted to put this on to show you kind of what it does. It gives your skin a bit of a glow, it hydrates, so that when you put your foundation on, it applies smoothly as a primer should allow it to, but it leaves kind of a glow underneath. The reason I use this one is there honestly are so many that are 20, 30 dollars, 40 dollars, and in, I've tried both. This works perfectly for me. I'm, all, I'm a big fan of saving money on makeup and I think that there are some strategic ways that you can shop, spending your money where you need to and then just the rest of the, of the products do you know what you can afford. So my, my foundation for today is going to be my Dollar General Believe. This is one of my favorite all time <laughs> um, foundations. It's, uh, I think it's called Cool Beige. I love it. Uh, I put a little bit on my makeup, little palette I've created here to just apply it on my face and then we can get on with the eyes in a second. Now this shad this um <laughs> this makeup actually this foundation is a little bit light for my sort of summer face. I've got a bit of a tan, but when I put this on you'll see how it blends and you I love it. I'm just kind of patting it and not stroking it too much. And Honestly, I don't know what they put in this stuff. It's just remarkable. <laughs> it's, it goes on so well. Um, it stays on and it's $5. There are lots of other products that are lovely too, but I just particularly love this one. I'm going to put some on my forehead and I'll just put it on my eyelids as well. It's that kind of foundation. It doesn't dry down really fast, so you can actually, um, you know, go back over and smooth it and blend it and buff it. I'm going to try to do that by looking in my mirror. <laughs> this is challenging with your um, when you're doing it with your phone. But it's a super friendly foundation to use. And it does, you can see, it does have a little bit of a glow still lingering from that primer. And I like that combination. I like hydrated, fresh looking skin, glowy skin. It's great. Okay, so that's my foundation. And the next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. I'll do the eyes and then the rest. Um, the reason I always focus on my eyebrows is that they're disappearing as they do when you get older. And I'm trying to sort of just use products that are going to, um, you know, 
shape them, fill them in a little bit, but not make them look, you know, artificial. I use a product by Maybelline. Well, I use a couple by Maybelline. This one is called um, uh, Total Temptation. The reason I like this one is it's got a, a kind of a pencil at the end, which is angular. So you can shape your eyebrows with that. I'm going to try to do this in my phone mirror and then I will, I mean, actually this is how easy it is to apply. It's very, you know, straightforward and I'll check it in a second in my mirror. You kind of need both fingers there to, uh, to do it. Okay, now that's a teeny bit darker than I would normally do, but that's okay, we can blend. And I'll do the other side and then come back. But eyebrows really can frame your eye. And I lift it up so that I can get kind of a bit of an arch on my eyebrow, but not making it look too artificial. Okay, let me just see if I got this kind of straight. I will. But anyway, eyebrows for me, <laughs> always been a challenge, but I'm getting the hang of it here, I think. All right, so now the other cool thing about this particular eyeshadow or eyebrow product it has a nice spoolie on the end. I don't know whether you can see this spoolie. It's very chubby and it works beautifully to smooth and you can just lift your lashes up a little or your um, brow up a little bit and over. You want it to look natural. You want to be able to see the hairs. And I think that's a perfect product. I'll leave the links to all this, by the way, below so that you will, um, you can get, you know, have a look at them and see whether there's something you're interested in. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of um, primer. Again, I put an essence product. And, and the reason I'm doing this is because I don't think that, in my opinion, there's all that much difference. <laughs> this is probably sacrilegious to say it, but um, difference between these really affordable products and the things that cost you a lot more. If you use them properly and just carefully. So that's the, a little I'm just dabbing it on my finger here. And I do find though that if you're trying to apply eyeshadow, being putting a little bit of primer on it is important. So that's just to set the, the eyes. Now let's get into this palette because I think you're gonna love it. I hope you do. And I, I was going to say, I'll put some swatches of the colors on my arm and put that at the end of the video so that you can you know, get a good um, idea of what the, what the choices are in this, uh, in this palette. It's really quite remarkable. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure my, I think we're okay. Um, so let's continue <laughs> with LA Girl. It's called Mastery Pro or Pro Mastery. Here are the colors. Um, it's quite um, pinky and nude and neutral, but these are the colors that in this palette. I absolutely love them. Now I'm going to use this matte, a kind of rosy pink, beautiful, really unbelievable shimmer, and then a kind of topper. So those are the four, but you can see there's almost like a greeny tone here, dark brown if you want to use it for your eyelashes. There's a different kind of peachy color, gold. There's a, actually I'm going to use this one too for the crease this brown. So you can see I'm only going to use five of them, but there's so many other ways that you can use this palette. So let me just get started. Now I'm going to use um, not, a, not a really super fluffy brush, but kind of a moderately fluffy brush. It's real techniques to take that light brown. And there's fallout on this as there is with most um, eyeshadows. I'm going to just apply this, um, this light brown on, my, uh, on the crease. I'm going to use my mirror just to see that I'm getting it sort of straight here. It's a beautiful chestnut brown. It's not um, you know, too dark, but it's a lovely color for this crease, kind of that area between the, the under the brow bone, not on the lid itself. And all this does is really give you kind of a bit of uh, transition between the two um, parts of your eye. And of course, this is all gonna get blended in as we, as we go. So I'll just put some on this eye here. And it's sort of just gently blending it in. When you're doing this at home, you're gonna spend a lot more time on this. I know you are. But the next thing I'm going to do is just put some of this beautiful um, matte white on the eyelid itself. That's going to be covered with pink. <laughs> and I'll put a little bit under the eye too, under the eyebrow. Okay. It's just such a beautiful palette. When I first received it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I really, really like it. And I'm gonna go back and touch this up in a minute. 
Okay, so you've got something that's sort of a your that, that transition line. And now I'm going to take the darker aubergine that I was mentioning to you. It's this one right, um, if I can just get the mirror the right way around. It's this darker one right there. Take a little bit of that, and I'm going to place that on my chat, on my, uh, where is it? I'm looking for my pinks. And on the eyelid itself. And then I'm going to do a little bit of accent, and I'll show you in a second at the corner of my eye. Okay, so I've used the light brown and the rosy kind of vintage pink. And now I'm taking that darker color, and I'm going to put it on the edge of my eye. It's like, like almost a third of the eye, if you can just imagine that. And you see how dark that color is? But it's just, I'm dabbing it gently on the edge. It's such a beautiful burgundy, I just love it. And then I'm going to bring a little bit of that up into the crease again. So just sort of windscreen wiper it there, just gently. And I know this is a little bit darker look than you may have seen me in or um, even do yourself, but I think it really will work. When you see the other shimmer that I'm going to add to it, it's beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side here. If I can show you where I'm putting it. Yeah, yeah, I like the autumn season. You can play with makeup like this at a completely different level. In the summer, it would have been too much, but I just love this darkness, and then I'll just bring it across the top. Okay, I know I'm, it's always difficult. I want to rush so that I can show you everything and not make this video be so long, but on the other hand, I want you to see how you do it, and also that you have to take some time. You have to take some time to blend because if you don't, it will just look a bit garish and um, you already have seen it too much on that side. But I love it. Okay, now, now I've done that darker look on the, I'm going to take another brush, which is a very fluffy brush, and I'm gonna just buff it and just make sure that it's blended. And bring it up a little bit, further into your brow bone. Okay, this is a super, super light brush. And you can just get that right up there, just a little bit on the top of your uh, brow bone. And then you create that kind of darker look around your eyes. Now, I'm going to now do something that is gonna make it softer and shimmery. <laughs> Honestly, I can't wait to put this shimmer on to show you. Okay, this is the shimmer, which is at the very, very top, or at the bottom, is I turn it upside down, it's this one right here. Yeah, this one, oh, excuse me, it's this one right here, the top. It, I'll show you all these in the swatches, but you take, I take a little bit, um, like a firmer brush, and I'm gonna grab that, and place it on my lid. Okay, this is why I love this palette. Can you see? It's unbelievable. It's such a beautiful, beautiful shimmer. I think I would have bought the entire palette just for this one color. It's just so pretty. And you just have to kind of pat it down. Okay. I don't know. I just think that's so, so beautiful. And then I'm going to take the lighter shimmer that I mentioned earlier as a sort of a topper and just put this right in the center of my eye. It's lighter. And just put it in that little dab right there. There's even a, a lighter shimmer if you wanted to just do slightly lighter because that can be very pretty if you just put that lighter bit piece right in the center of your eyelid. Okay. What do you think? I just think it's beautiful. I'm gonna pop some mascara on here and you'll get the whole picture. It's just remarkable, in my, in my opinion. And as I said, I'll, I'll leave swatches of all these colors so that you can, um, you know, you can see which ones you might want to use. But let me just put this mascara on. I'm using the uh, L'Oreal High, um, High Luminous, Vo Volume Luminous. I'll leave the link, it's beautiful. One of my favorite, favorite mascaras. Uh, you just need one, really, honestly, just one application is enough with this particular mascara. It's just gorgeous. 
and there. So there is my eyes. I think that's a really pretty look. I know it's intense. I know it's stronger than you might think you could wear, but in my opinion, it, it just works beautifully for the autumn. And I'm going to put some cheeks uh, stuff on and um, some blush and powder and make it completely finished. But I love that look. I think it's so pretty. Blush, I'm going to use my By Terry. Um, my By Terry for me, this palette Bronzer, blush, highlighters has become my go-to. I absolutely love it. What I do differently though, is I take the shimmers, the, um, if I can just do it upside down here, see if the mirror doesn't get in your eyes. I take the, um, first of all, the, the bronzer, if I can find my bronzer brush, here it is. And just put it on the cheeks. Not like a contour or anything else. It's just kind of a, a bit of color and the places that the sun would get you. It wore their sun. So just put your bronzer on and underneath your chin. But just start with that. Then I would take the um, highlighter, not the blush right away. I will take the two highlighters, pinky highlighter and a oh, um, kind of a glowy whitey gold. And I will put that on first. This is something I've tried, just started to do recently. And um, I just find if you put the highlighter on first and then apply the blush, you get a completely different look on your blush. And just use that same technique of starting at the apple and then going up. For me, that just makes a big difference with the blush and softer. And I'm going to just put some powder on in a second to make it kind of more of a finishing powder. But isn't that pretty? I, I'm going to look at my mirror because I know it's hard to see when you're doing it uh, into the into the phone. But I want to make sure I didn't put too much on. But I just, yeah, I think that's okay. And I love the glow that's underneath. It doesn't sort of pop out too much. Now, one thing that uh, someone did comment for on me, and I think it's a very, very good comment. My face is very long. So even though all the advice is to put your, your blush uh, higher on your cheek, they suggested that for me, I put a little bit on the apple because that will actually bring a pop to my face. And I actually think that's true. And I appreciate that comment. It was really helpful. But um, that's it, that's the blush. Now, I'm gonna finish with lips because I know uh, it's, it's taken a while. This is a longer video than I normally do. But, um, oh, I forgot the eyeliner. Well, I'm not gonna put it on now because um, I think I've got enough of a look there. But I just discovered black <laughs> eyeshadow and I apply that uh, often with, um, with a very sharp angular brush like this. And that's something that I could have done too. But I think this is just enough. Um, the other thing I want to do is lips. Back to uh, liner, I use my Kiko's liner, number 316. Kiko liners for me are my holy grail. I actually do wear them all the time and I love them. So I'm going to apply a darker shade than I normally would in the summer. And a brighter pink, which I think is a really beautiful color. There's something about a darker liner that I like I know it's kind of maybe old school, but I still like it. And this has got more like a kind of a wine color to it. I just fill in my lips. Isn't that mirror pretty? This is the By Terry palette. It's just gorgeous. I should have used that before. Okay, so that's the liner that I'm going to use. And then I'm gonna use my Flormar lipstick. I recently did a, a video on Flormar, which is a, a brand that I've been using for like, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 years. But they're, they're pink lipstick. It's called Perfectly Pink, number 503. I just love this lipstick and I've been using it now for a long time. And I just feel even though the eyes are dark, um, I don't wanna put too much attention to my lips other than the liner. So I'm going to use a softer pink. And this is beautiful. I love this color. See, it's, a, it's got a mauve tinge to it, but I really, really like it. Okay. That's it. 
those are my lips. I think it all goes together really beautifully. I hope you like this look. Um, I would probably dab a little bit of um, uh, lip gloss on my lips just because this is a, it's not a dry formula, but I have my Fenty. It's called Fussy. I love it. And I just dab a teeny bit. You don't need much. Super. super vibrant. Now the final, final thing I'm going to do is um, a finishing powder. I invested in Hourglass Ambient, um, it's called Ambient Dim Light. That, or dim Light is the color, but it's Ambient Finishing Powder. This, I'm, I got a miniature one. It was it was reasonably um, affordable at $30, but it comes in a big one as well. I, I wanted to try it first. What I do with this is I, I don't just use my brush. I kind of scratch my finger on the top to loosen it a bit. In this miniature one, it's kind of hard to get your brush in, so I, I loosen it first. So I've got some brush, um, product on the brush, and then I just apply this over top of everything. It's beautiful. It really is a gorgeous finishing product. Can you see? It just gives your skin such a lovely, lovely glow. And by the way, I wanted to mention, you noticed I didn't put any um, uh, concealer on. I don't believe in concealer anymore. I'm just gonna take a teeny bit of this Hourglass product and put it on my, with my fingers, just dab it in, just to sort of pull the color together. But that's it. That's the look that I, I created with the uh, LA Girl Pro Mastery Eyeshadow Palette. I hope that you like it. I really do. I feel it's um, not over the top. I feel it's a, it's, a, it's a look that you could go out into the world and feel comfortable with. Yes, it's a little darker, a little more glowy, but, um, I love the shimmers. I think shimmer just brings life to my eyes and um, why not? 60, 70, 80 years old, it doesn't matter. Just feel good. Enjoy your makeup. Okay, so have a great day, everybody. I hope that you have found this useful. If you've got a favorite eyeshadow palette that you would like me to try, please send me, put the details in the, com in the comment section below. Look in the description under this video for all the product links if you're interested in taking a look at them and uh, just uh, enjoy makeup. Have fun with it at any age. <laughs> Take very good care, everybody. Have a really wonderful day. Love you all. Bye-bye for now. Hi everyone, I would promise you that I would show you a swatch of the uh, different colors in the LA Mastery uh, eye palette. And I put them on my arm. I hope you can see them with this light, but I put the matte colors on one side so you can see those beautiful, those peaches and pinks, golden color and uh, a, a white matte. And then the shimmers are on this side. <laughs> and these are the ones I wanted to share with you. They're just absolutely beautiful. This is the pink that I used on my um, eyes. Um, just love it. So I hope that you found these uh, swatch swatches easy to visualize what the palette is like. And um, if you have any comments or other palettes you'd like to recommend or suggest, um, be happy to see the comments in the section below. But thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day, everybody.